Hello folks, this is Jamil Sweat for Gunstroke Reviews. I'm here in Paulden, Arizona at Gunsight Academy, and we're gonna be doing the actual test for the SIG P365. A couple of months ago, we went to C2 Tactical in Tempe, and we fired their range pistol, which was what is supposed to call now as a first generation pistol. The new uh, second generation pistols have X-ray 3 sights on it. They have had some minor modifications, and even though there's been a lot of gossip over the internet over whether or not the pistol has issues with breaking strikers or firing pins, whatever you want to call them, or the trigger spring falling off the trigger itself and disabling the pistol. Um, I know that those cases do exist, but according to SIG, it's less than 0.25 of a percent. So it's not even a quarter of a percent of the guns manufactured. Um, if you have any issues, I've been told by SIG to call them, they'll send you a label, they'll pick up your pistol, you send it back to them, and guess what? They'll fix it for you for free. And shipping back and forth is free too. So this pistol hasn't been fired, I just got this pistol recently. Let's go ahead and shoot it a little bit. 10 yards, nine millimeter, let's go shoot it. This is way too much fun. More ammo. This is way too much fun. Actually, I'm shooting here about 10 yards. I'm gonna tell you a little story. Memorial Day weekend, Phil Strader from Team SIG, actually one of the big guys out there at SIG, took the P365 to the Bianchi Cup, the most grueling match for accuracy and reliability for a pistol. You're shooting up to 50 yards on a target. He took it and shot the match with a SIG P365. He came in eighth overall. I couldn't, with a normal race gun, $5,000 race gun, I couldn't even come last. And Phil came in eighth overall with a SIG P365. That is an amazing feat of shooting. I'd like to thank our friends at C2 Tactical. They got us some extra magazines for the pistol. The pistol only comes with two magazines, one with a flat base pad and one with the extended pinky, and they gave us a couple of 12 round magazines, a couple of extra 10 round magazines, and our friends at Tactical Dev actually sent us some of their new base pads that take that flat base, uh, base pad uh, magazine and extends the length of it. Doesn't extend capacity, but actually gives you the feeling of the 12 round magazine, that extra grip on the bottom. So it's really cool. I don't be shooting a little more, but actually stay tuned to Gunstock Reviews for more news on the P365. And we're gonna try it with different ammo. We're gonna use the actual SIG P365 ammo and we're gonna shoot it for accuracy and also for penetration on ballistics gel. So stay tuned for more tests on the SIG P365. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.